back to another episode of the Clicker 2022 tutorial, which will be 2023 because I'm not going to finish it by the end of the year. Anyways, today what we're going to be focusing. Oh my goodness, I'm sick. I'm sorry, by the way. Also, I'm streaming on Twitch. That's what those get. That's what those guys over there are. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what we're doing today is we're going to focus on upgrades. So let's hop into how to make an upgrade. So first, to make an upgrade, you're probably gonna need a button. You can do this in a bunch of ways, but I, I'm just going to use be using a button. So I'm too lazy to make my own button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just choose a button sprite. I'm gonna just take this one and say, hey, I made this, even though I didn't, it's called lying. Um, but clickers aren't hard. I never said they were hard. This is a basic tutorial for beginners. So. I'm going to name this button. We're going to call this. Um, I'm going to call this uh, more money. Okay. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to put some words on this, some very basic words. Right. What it's going to say is it's going to say we're going to call this the. Um, we're going to call this uh, a big click. Right. Big clicks. That's what we'll call it big clicks okay and then I'll set up this nice little system you see remember how we did this with the egg I'm gonna do the same thing with the button so basically what we're going to need is we're going to need that when the green flag is clicked it will go to whatever location you'd want it to go to in my case it's 170 by 142 and you can find that number by looking right here next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna make sure it shows just in case something happens and I'll have it set to the first sprite which our first costume which is the one that has our words on it then we will run a forever loop forever we will say if touching mouse pointer it will change the size again we do we're going to go through this again in case you didn't understand it last time we're going to increase the size by four whenever it's touching the mouse pointer and then we're going to run a check we're going to say if what do you operators and say greater than we'll put 110 into the second slot because that, that number you can fiddle with it a little bit if you want and you put size in this first one and then we'll say it'll set the size to 100 and 10 and then if not if in the else statement we're going to copy this and we're going to say change it by negative 4 if the size is less than 100 or whatever your default size is whatever you want it to be you'll set it to the default size and that just really just gets this super super basic get bigger effect when you hover over it super nice super simple but it, it, it looks good it looks good so what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, set up a system for actually buying something so what this this upgrade is going to do is it's going to make you earn more every time you click so how do we set that up it's actually really easy all we'll need to do is we'll need to make a variable and we're going to call this fit this variable money per click okay i'm going to show that and then we also don't even need to show this this can hide you don't need to show it right this money per click you can do a few different things so we're going to do this i'm going to do this in the easiest way possible okay this is the easiest way possible maybe in a future video i'll do some upgrades to some things to make it look a little bit better but we can do this really easily so we we need to keep in mind how much money per click we have and then we also need to keep in mind how much the upgrade costs so we're going to make another variable and i'm going to call it i'm going to call it big clicks cost the reason i'm calling it big clicks cost is because we called the I called this upgrade big clicks you can call it whatever you want this is what I'm calling it though okay so here's what we're gonna do then so let's set up this so put big clicks cost or whatever your upgrade was and we're gonna set it to a specific number based on how much you want it to cost when you first start out let's say I want to start off at 10 when the green flag is clicked the first price will be 10 for this big for this big click cost so you'll see that when we start that big click cost is 10 even if you hide a variable it'll still work the way it's supposed to so what we can do now is inside this if touching mouse pointer just like we did with this egg we're going to do the same thing so we're going to do right here if mouse is down we will wait until go to your operators grab not and just go ahead and duplicate that mouse down when tell mouse isn't down, so you have to fully do a click. You push the mouse down and then lift it up, and then it'll continue. This is to prevent you from being able to hold down the button and accidentally upgrade maybe more than you want to. So, 
once we'll do that, we'll, we'll need to do a check. We'll need to say if greater than, you'll come into your variables and you'll say money. If your money is greater than, and you'd want to do big click cost, but we're not going to do just this. And I'll tell you why, because it has to be bigger than the cost, which the cost is 10. It has to be bigger than 10. I mean, it has to be 11, meaning if you had $10, you couldn't buy it. So the way we'll solve that is by going into operators, grabbing a minus symbol, put big click cost in the front and do a one in the other side. So that'll make it nine. It has to be greater than nine, therefore being 10 or more, right? All right, fantastic. I'm going to temporarily hide chat on screen. I realize that might be a little bit of an issue for you people watching. I'm sorry. So now what we'll do is we will set up what happens if you have enough money. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually change your money. You're going to want to take away the money. So what you'll do is we can we can do this in two ways. Okay, you can do it via a join or via a multiplication. And it works, works the same way. You put big click cost just like this or like this, depending on which one you want. If you're doing the join option, you're going to put a minus symbol. So that'll just be negative 10. Or if you want to do it in a way that most programmers do, you'll put a negative one in this multiplication and that gives you negative 10 too. You do whichever one you want, I'm going to do this one. So change your money by negative 10 or however much your upgrade costs. Then what we'll need to do is we'll need to actually increase what the upgrade does. So we will then change our money per click, say by one, which that brings me to another uh, thing to say. We'll obviously want our money per click to be one when we start the game, meaning you'll only make one every time you click. So boom, there you have an upgrade and it works all fine. So we take a look in this sprite. You'll see instead of changing money by one in this egg, what we'll do is we'll grab money per click and we're just going to put that variable right there. And now you'll see when we start the game, we'll make one per click. I'm going to turn that down. It's kind of loud. And then once we reach 10, if we kick big clicks, our money goes down to zero. But now we gain two per click. Now you might be saying, how are people going to know the cost? And now there's a bunch of ways to do this. But again, I said for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to do this in the simplest way possible. And the simplest way to do this is go to your more money button. Also, I'm just going to add a button to the end of that just because it bothers me. <laughs> and we're going to, again, in this mouse pointer, we're just going to have it say. Okay. And again, this is not a very good way of doing it, but it's a very easy way. I, can all, I will probably come back later and make this look a lot nicer. But just for now, this is what I'm going to do. So we're going to have it say, and then we're going to use some joins. And what join does is it just puts two things together so this is apple banana and what would it say it's a apple banana okay so we're going to be making use of these join buttons so we're going to say say we type the word cost okay cost then i'm going to do a space colon space and then i'm going to put big click cost right in there Okay, so this is what it'll look like. I'll put that in the say, I'll put this say in the touching mouse pointer. I'll put it actually right underneath everything. Then you want to make sure that in the else, that you, actually no, yeah, we'll put it at the top. We'll put it at the top and see if it causes any issues. You want to make it say nothing. So just click on that, press backspace, and then just press enter. It'll say nothing when it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So we'll start. You'll see that if you hover over, it'll say the cost. Cost is 10. So let's get up to 10 and let's buy it, right? So the cost doesn't change. So let's say you wanted the cost to change. That's done in this button too. So you'll grab change. You'll say change the big clicks cost and you can do this manually. You can say maybe it'll increase by 10 every time, which in that case you just add 10. If you wanna do it gradually, what you can do is you can grab something like a multiplication block you can put the cost in the first half and you can do something like 1.5. So if it's 10, then the next upgrade would cost 15. Okay. So let's just take a look at this. So let's look at the big click cost. See right now it's 10. If I click this, it becomes 25. Then it'll cost 62.5, 156, 390. And again, if this isn't something that you like, if you'd like it to be a little bit better, you can always adjust this number 1.2. 
and then check it out and you might not like this decimal if you don't like this decimal you can come to your operators tab you can grab this round block and put this inside but what this does is it will just round the number to the nearest whole number so you won't have to worry about stuff like that so let's take a look again now we don't get those decimals and maybe and maybe you don't like something like this maybe you want it to be more basic you want it to increase by 10 every time then you can feel free to just do that but if you want it to be more gradual you can do something like this so now if i hide that variable again and we hop in okay you see we can upgrade the money all fine and when you see big clicks now it costs 21. We're making two clicks 21 now it costs 44 we get up to 44 now it costs 92 after we get to 92, cost none 93, and it'll keep going up forever and ever and ever. Now I'm going to show you one more type of upgrade as fast as possible before we end. So I'm going to duplicate this button, and I'm going to call this the uh, CPS button. This does not stand for Child Protective Services, I promise. I promise you it stands for clicks per second. You're going to want to make a variable called CPS. Clicks per second, you can spell out clicks per second. CPS works just fine though. This variable doesn't need to be shown on your screen either. So on this on this second one, the CPS button, we're obviously going to change what it says. I'm just going to do plus CPS. You can give it some fun names if you want. I'm boring though. Uh, so I'm not going to for the sake of the tutorial. So we're going to have it do the same thing. Just make sure it changes where it goes. And then this stuff doesn't actually need to be here. What you can do is CPS will be set to zero. Because you don't want to get any free clicks for doing nothing off the start of the game. So you'll obviously also want your CPS cost. Okay. Your CPS cost can be put right there. Just in place of your other one. And then you're obviously also going to want to set your CPS cost to whatever you want it to call. Whatever you want it to cost. Say I want my first CPS to cost $50. All this happens the same. You're going to replace all these big click costs with your CPS costs. So let me just drag all these in. Then change this big click cost to CPS cost. Now, it's not going to be changing your money per click by one. What it'll do is it'll increase your CPS by one. So now you might be wondering how do we actually implement that CPS. Well, I like to make just an empty sprite and we'll call this CPS. I'm just going to call it a calculator even though calculator is not the correct word for it at all. So this does not need any, it doesn't need to have any uh, design at all. All you need to have in this is a uh, one green flag clicked. I hide it just in case, uh, you really don't need to, but just, I just do it anyways. And then you'll say forever, wait one second, and then you'll change your money by your CPS. So if your CPS is zero, it'll change your money by zero, and then You'll see, because again, you'll change that CPS whenever you upgrade it. So let's take a look now. We start the game. Let's get up to that 10. And let's get up to 50, C 50 money. Okay. You see, now it costs 51. And we can mess with that in a second. But now look, now we are actually getting $1 a second without us even having to touch the, the cookie. And you'll see that 51. We keep increasing all this stuff. Now we're getting a bunch of money per second. So let's take a look at this CPS button. So CPS plus 1.1. Again, if you don't like how that works, you can you can mess around with the number and change it to however you want. But I'm leaving the tutorial here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, like it, like it, like it, anyways, because there's some more videos to come. While you're on the sky of the channel, show my kind of the time in the lap. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs> I'm